Hey guys, and welcome to my how to give yourself a death hawk tutorial. So as a few of you know, I have a death hawk. And so what that is, it is basically a mohawk that is wider or thicker and longer. And so I've had a death hawk for about almost two years now. Um, this is my second death hawk that I've had. The first one I got when I was like 17 and I had it for a few months before I shaved my head. And my two videos of me doing the death hawk are really popular so I figured that I would do this tutorial giving tips and tricks and also going through a kind of step-by-step -step of how I do it and how I shave my size and also kind of how you can do it for yourself the first time. So if you're looking to get one and you want to do it yourself but you're not really sure where to start, Hopefully this video will be able to help you out. And so while this video is geared a little bit towards doing it for the very first time, obviously I can't show you guys all of that since my sides are already shaved, but everything that I'm saying for the most part will apply to if you're just routinely shaving your sides down. So first, what do you need? You need a few things actually. You're gonna need a mirror. It's virtually impossible to shave any part of your head without a mirror. So if you're starting from scratch, you're also gonna need things to help you section off your hair. The thing that works best is a metal tipped comb like this that has a very pointy end. Um, this is great for getting really straight lines for sectioning off your hair. It also helps to have a brush so that when you are getting your hair ready to like put back into a ponytail or into pigtails or whatever you're doing, it just helps to smooth everything down and to get everything into really neat sections. The next thing that you're going to need are hair ties or binders and whatever size works for you. Or you can also go with clips, um, just anything to help you hold your hair back. Related to that are these types of clips, um, bobby pins. Again, anything to help you hold your hair back, get everything smoothed down nicely, get your sections all even and exactly how you want them. So another thing that you might need, I'd recommend, is a second mirror. You guys may recognize this one. It is my lucky mirror, I guess you could say, my trademark. Um, and I use this for when I'm doing the back. And so, it's really helpful. It is a bitch to have to hold something in one hand and a clippers in another. So sometimes what you guys have maybe seen me do and what I recommend if it's possible, you can set up a full length mirror behind you. So if you have an extra one of these lying around, what you can do is you can stack some boxes, maybe a chair behind you and then set it up. So then you can just watch yourself in the mirror. The only reason why I might recommend a handheld mirror instead is because with this you can get up really close. You can see things really closely. If you're using a like in front of you wall mirror and then a behind you standing up on something mirror, there's going to be a lot of distance in between and so it gets kind of hard to see exactly what you're doing versus if you can lean up really close and then just watch in the mirror because if you're leaning up close if you're sitting on your counter and just right up against the mirror, there's less distance in between your two mirrors and you'll be able to see what you're doing a lot better. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to need a scissors to cut your hair. In my experience, from what I've heard, it is not good to just straight up shave really long hair. It does not matter what kind of scissors you use if you are shaving your hair after you cut it. That is why I use craft scissors in my death hawk videos. If you would like, you can use hair scissors that are meant for cutting hair, but it does not matter because you're going to be shaving the hair off. And I'm just gonna take a second to explain something that I've explained many, many times in comments, but I keep getting people freaking out about it. In my second death hawk video, when I flick off the camera while I'm holding up the craft scissors, it's because I got a lot of hate on my first death hawk video for using craft scissors to cut my hair. It was like a ridiculous amount. People wouldn't shut up about it. And so for my second one, when I was still using the craft scissors, I was just like, fuck you guys who care about what fucking scissors I use to shave my head. So that's just a little explanation, a little fun fact for this tutorial. Uh, I'm not flipping off my subscribers or viewers. I'm not like, being like, oh, fuck you guys, I'm doing a cool haircut. I'm literally specifically targeting people who talk shit about using craft scissors when you're about to shave your hair off. That's it. All right, let's get back to the things that you need. Another thing that I recommend that you do not need is having a little trash can in front of you to set on the counter or in the sink. The reason why I do this is it really helps with the hair mess that ends up everywhere when you're shaving your head. I'll demonstrate later in the video how to best use the trash can. So if you have a little one, a medium-sized one, anything that would fit in front of you while you're doing your hair, 
it really comes in handy. And then the last thing that you need, of course, is your clippers. And so this is something where some people use kind of the bigger size like this. I think there are bigger ones. A lot of people use the smaller ones. It kind of depends on the size of the section that you want to shave. For those who are interested, I use the Wall 5 Star Balding Clipper. I've had this since I was 16. So six years. I've had this for six years and uh, it is really good. It's held up. I love it. And then related to that, you're going to need guards if you so choose. And so if you ever see someone asking about the number that they use to shave, what number they shave with or what number their clippers are, what number their guard is, they're asking about the size. And so that's the length of hair that will be left after you shave. So when you just use a clippers with no guard, it's not going to shave all the way down. To shave all the way down, you're going to need a razor because your clippers won't get that far. And if you don't want it to be super short, you use guards. My clippers came with a 1 8 of an inch and a 1 16th of an inch. Um, I don't use guards anymore because I like to cut my hair as short as possible. But guards come in many different sizes. Um, for example, this is a 1 4th of an inch, which is also 6 millimeters, which is a number 2 guard. And so if you're thinking about giving yourself a side shave, a death hawk, whatever, one thing to keep in mind is how long you want the sides to be. So if you're like, I want a 1 half of an inch side shave, then you'd go for the number 4 guard, I think. It says 4 on here, so we're going to go with that. I don't actually know the numbers, I don't use the numbers, I just go off of the size. So you would use a one half of an inch guard. And then the absolute final thing for the entire process is you're going to need something to clean up all the hair afterwards, so that's going to be a vacuum or a broom. Alright, so now that we've covered the what do you need part of this tutorial, I'm going to go into the tips and tricks part of the tutorial, and then after that we will go through the step by step and I will actually start shaving and stuff. Because it's a fucking bitch! There's little bits of hair! everywhere and I don't want to like get my clothes dirty just because there's hair on them because you can't fucking wear them then it's horrible